Let's dive into Step Finance. Step Finance is the number one portfolio tracker on Solana. But in addition to this, it is the biggest media company covering Solana. They have a DAO, they educate, they have in real life events, they have ambassadors, they have bounties, they have blogs, they have real time data from Twitter, and they have an amazing YouTube podcast. So let's jump in and cover everything. This is one of the most used apps on Solana. So the website's step.finance, you can just click see your portfolio. Now here we can just connect to our wallet if we like, Phantom, and it will show us what's in this particular address and a host of other things. The holdings, deck stuff, any NFTs that are here, and there's a few other features which we'll go through in greater detail. The other thing is we can come up to the top here and we can just paste in any address, including our own, so we don't actually have to connect to it. And then we can just see what that particular address has. So this address here, this is just a random address. It is not my address. You can see it has $108,000, a little bit of GME, a little bit of Sol, quite a bit of Jito Sol, and a whole lot of NFTs. And these look to be all spam and scam NFTs. But I'll cover using this in another tutorial following this video. You can also see over here, transaction history. This will pull up in a far more human readable form, the most recent history. But once again, we'll go into this in the tutorial. There's a host of things that relate to Step Finance. They are a media brand. They have the portfolio tracker. They do analytics. They have a DAO. They do bounties. They have a podcast and they host in real life events. So let's go through them one by one. So starting with analytics. So this page here gives you a good idea of what's happening in terms of token prices. This first section here, you can see the top performing tokens. We're in meme coin season, of course. Sometimes this is always going to be the way. So anything that goes up really, really crazily, such as whatever SCY is, just note if it's a meme coin, it could be a little bit of a up it goes and then down it goes. We can also see over here the liquidity and we can click view more and then we can change all these figures. So as an example, make that go down. We can see Ren BTC is quite a distance from its peg and change this again. And we can see like this. I can also add things to my watch list. So I've added whales here, which is a token which is performing exceptionally well. And I can also add other things. SES is doing very, very well as well. And we can see the liquidity on this side as well. When you've got deeper liquidity in the market, it is a safer option, not financial advice, but when you see this liquidity nice and big, that means whales or bigger wallets can come in, trade in or out a lot easier. When you've got something with very, very small liquidity, such as these tokens here, they have a small amount of liquidity. Another good option if you're into DeFi farming is you can use the on-chain markets. Now, make sure you're familiar with impairment loss and I've got a video on DeFi, but basically what you wanna see here is the APY of course. So let's look at the APY but you also wanna make sure that there's decent liquidity. So we can see really high liquidity here, and then the APY is this, and these are the fees that have been generated in the last 24 hours. If we just look directly at fees, this can give us a little bit of an idea of what is hot. So right now, GME is clearly what is hot. So if we were to look up the price of GME, we'd probably see, and this is a meme coin, that things were going up quite nicely. The actual APY is quite low though, because there's quite a large amount of liquidity. Then if we go down further, we can see farms. Now farms are quite similar to liquidity pools. They're still a liquidity pool, but they actually get a bonus token. In this particular case, we can have a look at something with a high APY. So Larix and USDC, we won't worry about that though, because the liquidity is so exceptionally low. Okay, so it took me a little bit of time to see something with over $100,000 worth of liquidity, a decent APY, and also getting multiple rewards. So this one here, S coin, I have no idea what it is, certainly not a buy signal from me, but this can help you with your research if your goal is to get into something with already some liquidity, but a decent APY. This is on page 11. A lot of the other ones, basically meme coins with very little liquidity. But this analytics page gives you a really good overview. Step Finance also has a learn section. So if there are things that I haven't covered in my videos yet, then come in and have a look here. Or even if I've covered them, see if you can get more information, especially relating to anything regarding keeping your assets nice and safe. I definitely encourage you to read up on that. The layout of the blog is exactly what I want to build in the future, and they have already built it. Nice and clean, really, really easy to understand, and you walk away understanding what you have to do with your assets. If you've been watching any of my short form 60 second videos, you'll quite often see that I reference tweets from Solana Floor. 
Why? Because they put out things essentially in real time. I follow Solana Floor with notifications on so I can see as soon as something hits because I'm busy researching or creating content. So as an example, this goes over Jupiter and the airdrop. This is Magic Eden and their diamond airdrop. This talks about Jupe and their fees and so on and so on. So as an example, I'm not going to know that Dog with Hat had more trading volume than Shiba Inu. Unless, of course, I'm following Solana Floor. It also helps in other ways. Solana FM is a fantastic block explorer. However, their X account was hacked a couple of days ago. So you see this and from here you can go and retweet it or what have you. But at least you know that Solana FM was breached and not to click on any links. Solana Floor also puts out a lot of news. Now this is fantastic because there's plenty of news article websites out there such as Coindesk. However, they cover multiple blockchains and although not everything on Solana is perfect, quite often they are owned by people that have a lot of BTC or ETH and they tend to have a little bit of an anti-Solana narrative. So here at least you can see the latest news and you're getting more bullish news or more fair news. From there you can decide if it's overly bullish or not. From there you can obviously do your own research and you can work out if it's too bullish or whatnot but at least it's not starting off by being anti-Solana. As an example, Bonkbot shattered records with $1.23 million in daily fees during the dupe launch on Solana. I'm pretty sure the first time I found out about this was because they tweeted it. So I personally suggest that you go and follow Solana Floor with notifications on. Next up, we've got the step down. Now, one of the important things, of course, in the ecosystem is content. And content creation takes a huge amount of time and a lot of research, especially if you want to try and make sure that all of your information is correct. It's also not really rewarded normally. So if someone puts in the hard work, quite often they won't get anything for it. Now this is starting to change, of course, with different bounties. And one thing that StepDAO does is allow you to earn crypto bounties and become a Solana ambassador. This is true of other blockchains. If you have a look at Ethereum, yes, there's a lot of content there. But in the early days, you had Gitcoin giving out different grants for different things. You've got a lot more people that are willing to just invest in news publications and things like that. It's a different ecosystem and it helped it grow. And now we're seeing similar things happen on Solana. So if you have a look at the bounty program, you can work out if there's anything that fits your kind of goal. And then you get paid in this step token. And this step token is one of the first SPL tokens that was ever on Solana, created way back in 2021. Normally in quarter four of each year, we've got Solana Breakpoint. We also have hacker houses that happen throughout the year. But now we also have Solana Crossroads. So this is an annual community conference hosted in Istanbul in Turkey. The next one's May 10 to 11. So if you're near Turkey or if you want to get to Turkey, you should go and attend this. Get some tickets and then you've got a conference in May and then you've got Breakpoint this year in September. One thing that Step Finance has done is they've gone out to basically blanket the community and potential community with Solana news. And then now I think they're trying to tie everything together. So it, it definitely looks like it's all powered by Step. So as an example, Step Data Insights, a lot of the tweets here, I think are now being done by Solana Floor. So if I have a look here, we can see that nothing has come out in January for some reason. But I also encourage you to follow this with notifications on. I get a lot of more of the technical information from their tweets. It's very, very helpful. When we're looking at analytics, we want to see growth. We're not too worried normally about TPS. This is transactions per second. We want the ability to have a lot of transactions per second go through the blockchain. But on some days, this may be a lot higher than other days. We definitely want to see a growing number of validators, but most definitely we want to see a trend. We want to see a trend of active wallets. We can also come down here and we can see the number of new SPL tokens that are coming out, also new NFTs. And when these start to go crazy, then we can see some growth. Now, of course, a lot of these SPL tokens will be meme coins. So just be very, very careful with meme coins. You need to do a whole lot of research so you don't get wrecked on them. Things are broken down further, of course, with SPL token transfers, sole transfers, and also the network network fees for successful non-vote transactions. So these are the fees that people are actually paying to get their transactions to go through. If we come right down to the bottom, then we can see a whole lot of other information. So here we can see Phoenix, which is where you can do some trading. And we can see a number of different transactions that are going through. This is one very, very popular program. We can also see Jupe. Obviously, a lot of transactions go through Jupiter. And the success rate seems to be a little bit low for some reason. Pith Oracle. A lot of instructions 
and a very high success rate. Same with the voting, which is normal. This is done by validators. At the end of the day, if you took a screenshot of this and then screenshot in a few months, what we want to see is growth. The other thing that they've got going for them is the Solana All Stars program. So this is Solana's ambassador program created by Step Finance. So you've got your own little Discord here, and what you have is a team of people basically getting the word of Solana out. I do my content in English, but imagine the number of people that would like it in Spanish, or the people in Africa that would want it in African languages, or in Mandarin, or Russian, or German, or a host of other languages. So the purpose of All Stars. So in a Medium article, they've written, Solana All Stars, ever heard of Binance Angels? Why does Binance have 90% market share in like 100 plus countries? It's due to initiatives like the Binance Angels program. So what the Solana All Stars program is, is basically the same, but for Solana. Essentially, it's an onboarding mechanic for Binance and distribution mechanic for Binance partners. Solana All Stars is our version of this program with some added benefits. So the net result is this comes to Solana. And what we're really looking at is in real life events. The other thing that's working for Step Finance in their media division is the Next Billion podcast. I've watched a couple of these videos, but definitely the best one is all about Crypto Island. I definitely encourage you to watch this one. This video is all about a small Pacific nation in the Pacific Ocean, which is trying to get money in so it helps out its own economy by offering an actual residency for crypto native people. These are the things that I found most exciting. However, they've got different interviews on different things. So this is great when you want to hear things from project founders, such as from BirdEye. So that's Step Finance and their goal to be the front page of Solana. They've been around for years and they keep on building. So make sure you follow their content with notifications on and check out my next video on how to use their portfolio tracker in depth. Stay curious, catch you in the next video.